So I was kind of browsing through the Bible today and I came across um, John 13 and it says, you may not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Now, in that reference, you know, he's obviously talking about what's about to happen to him on the cross and everything like that, but I guess it applies to everything that's going on in our lives as well. You know, we are basically a walking parable. And it just reminds me of the situation that I'm, I'm in right now with this breakup thing that happened. And I'm not going to talk about that here, so I will leave a card wherever um, they end up going on whatever side of the screen. I don't really know that it comforts me in any way reading that, but it is very true to what, what's going on right now. It's also very true, like if I really li relive this past weekend, which was a day ago, there's so many things that happened and so the, like the exact order that they needed to happen in. And if they wouldn't have happened in that order, I wouldn't have had things go the way they were supposed to go. So it's, it's crazy to watch all of this unfolding. And it's crazy when you have some of these intuitions and stuff then like that and you can see them unfold. But the thing is, is I don't want to dwell on thinking about certain things because I, I really do feel like you can probably change the outcome of certain things if you do that. And I try not to um, do, you know, change outcomes just virtue of thinking things that, you know, like if you're always talking about what you don't want, well, you keep getting what you don't want. So I don't like always doing that. I don't like always talking about, you know, things that I don't really want to happen or thinking about it. You know, Wayne Dyer used to talk about what you think about expands. And unfortunately in this situation, and I know there's another person involved and I can't change that, but there was some thinking that went, went into this. And I know comment section is going to be like, well, you can't change it, but it's just like, I'm an artist, right? Like artists overthink things. We just relive things. We just, we live in our heads. It's not the greatest place to be all the time. And this is just how things are. So I do, I don't want to say envy, but I kind of envy people who can just like animals, basically, they can just, you know, not saying there are, are animals, but like animals, for example, they don't relive what just happened. They just keep on going. And people that I know that can just do that, I'm like, man, you are so lucky. So lucky. They can just cut things off, just keep on going like it didn't even happen. I think there was a phase, and I know there was a phase of my life where I was like that, but as I'm getting older, unfortunately, that has gone away and has been replaced by overthinking. Now, part of overthinking might be the fact that I don't really go to a 9-to-5 anymore. I don't know. You know, that might have something to do with it. I don't really sit at my 9-to-5 job anymore. I do my own thing. So that does leave the room for more <laughs> overthinking to actually happen, which isn't the greatest thing in the world. But if you read this, you know, you don't understand what I'm doing right now, but you will in the future, or whatever it said. It might bring some comfort, I guess. Um, you know, they, in the Bible it talks about, you know, you know, when you, when you need to grow, you, you know, you're separated from everything and you have to grow from that and, you know, turn into or do something different and you're more prepared for something in the future. <sighs> but wow, this one has hit me hard. I, I do plan on, there's a couple of rice diet videos that I do plan on making and actually I was going to make it today, but I just, I can tell that the vibe just isn't there. I'm also doing another experiment with my cellar sizer, so I do have things going on, but this one really has uh, affected me more than I'd like, especially for something that was only six, six or seven months. That's crazy to me. Normally I would not let this happen. Yeah. I don't think I have anything else to add to it, really. I'm just making these videos just because I'm sure there's other people going through this and maybe watching my somewhat misery <laughs> uh, will help them out. Uh, anyways, that is the video. I mean, you can leave comments, questions if you want. There's, well, no questions really to be had. Hopefully I can snap out of this in the next couple of days and start making my videos again. Man, I, I kind of wish I was my 29 year old self because that person would not even think about any of this. I guess when you get older, you see more of a finite time and you have the wisdom that goes behind your 20 year old self and your 40 year old self and you're like you know there's so many things in life that matter way more than these things so i don't know <laughs> i'm sorry i'm like talking in code let's talk to you in the next one